Hi hey guys, today we are going to be doing a um, video just working on my irons, making sure that I get my left hip pulling through and basically just trying to hit good consistent straight shots. So let's get into it. Cassie, yeah, if you saw our video on the Halloween, is, um, is consistency dying in our swing? Um, we're going to be working on that same concept where we've got to get the hip and the swing going round, all the way round, basically this, this chest and the hip have to keep going round all the way to a finish. If this stops and this accelerates, we get that flip and you can see the hands flip up. So it's really about finishing nice and high before the hands flip and this chest and the hip, the hips can start and then the chest is going to go with it as the hip keeps going all the way round. So we're going to have the swing going round there. And just for Cassie, she's starting to get a little bit flat on the backswing. So the takeaway, she's going to feel the club staying outside her hands a little bit on the way back rather than coming in a bit too early. If you come in too early and too flat, there's no gravity to drop you. If you're here, you end up having to sort of flip around you. But if you have a little bit more gravity through here, it will drop down to the club. So this is the one we're trying to avoid. And that is a hundred yard hook, <laughs> very much uh, an over exaggeration. And this is the one we're trying to hit, making sure this go together. So you'll do it down the line in a second, but that was perfect. Sit down the line. The thing we're trying to avoid is this flipping movement and stopping the hip. So here's the, the one we're trying to avoid. The swing feels okay, but it's killing us with that. So, so from down the line, again, we're not coming inside flat and we're not stalling this and flipping the arms around. We're keeping the club face outside the hands. It's a bit of an exaggeration, but she's gonna feel this. She's gonna drop in, get to the ball. That hip is pushing away and everything is going together. Mag through with the left side, that hip and left side. That is magnificent. Magnificent. Just uh, jumped off it. Keep the hands under the shoulders, nice and slow. That's it, yeah, perfect. Just a little flippy. Stay in your posture and keep dragging through on the left. Okay, just nice and smooth. It'll get there. Okay. As Cassie was swinging, we saw that her grip had gotten very strong there. Um, something we looked at a few months ago. Um, so we're going to try and adjust her swing in a second, sorry, her grip, to try and make it a little bit more neutral. Cassie's natural position is a little strong, but that's, at this moment, that looks way too strong. And then we think that's why she's getting a little draw on every shot. Okay, Cassie's gonna play it like a wedge. Just gonna play it like a wedge. Good, perfect. That is exactly what I just asked you to do. That was great. Nice and straight. Lovely. That's a controlled 120. Okay, so we're switching to the hybrid. Cassie's just tweaking her... She's tweaked her um, 
grip a little bit. That is a cracker. Cassie, give us a thumbs up if that was an awesome shot. Yeah, thank you. Even better. Even better. Great, all straight. Okay, we're gonna go full speed now. That doesn't mean fast. Keep that left hip pulling you through. Wow. If that wasn't the best shot of the day, what was? That was great, wasn't it? Another absolute bullet. So, as you can see, I hit the last few really good and I think it's just making sure that your hands are underneath the body and not swinging around too much. And yeah, I also had my grip a little bit too closed but that's going to be hard to fix. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Click the thumbs up and bye-bye.